Hi, in today's video I would like to show how to copy loads out of the database after having run the live load analysis with the help of module Ella. To demonstrate this I'm going to open up our tutorial example file from our official website. To do that I just need to start the Sophistic Structural Desktop 2020 from the start menu of Windows and then open the Sophistic Tutorials. From the Sophistic Tutorials 2020 you need to click on the Tutorials Bridge Design and select the Post Tension Concrete Beam Bridge example. I'm going to simply quickly download the project file by clicking on this zip and I'm going to store the zip file in this PC on the desktop in a folder called PTC underscore bridge with the name as PSC underscore bridge underscore 2020 zip. After having stored the file I will quickly unzip it with my right mouse button and I will extract here in this folder and I will drag the PSC underscore bridge underscore 2020 dot sophistic file to the SSD and I will open it with it. Now I will just simply double click on the graphical user interface for model creation Sophie plus X and export the model geometry to the database. On my other screen the Sophie Plus is opening and when it is done I will be able to export the model to the database. So this is the model created within Sophie Plus. Instead I'm just simply going to export the geometry to the database by clicking on this button and from the appearing export dialog box I will simply click on the OK button to export the model. It will take some seconds but then we are going to have the geometry and the every model data stored in the database. We received some warning messages which we can simply accept in this case because this is not the aim of this tutorial or this simple video to explain the background of these warning messages. Instead simply let's go back to SSD where we can see our model is nicely exported and all we want to do is simply run the linear analysis and the traffic loads task. All the other groups and tasks are unnecessary, so I will just simply delete them. So I'm selecting the temperature load task, right click on it and choose the delete. Yes, then the construction stages, right click on it and delete. Then select or automatically select the design beams and hit the delete button on my keyboard and then yes. We can even delete the interactive plots of the results of the linear analysis and the traffic loader. So I will just simply select the task and delete them. And all the remaining tasks are the linear analysis and the traffic loader. So finally, let's run this task by right click on the linear analysis and choose the calculate from option from the drop down list. After a short while, as you can see, the module ASC, the linear analysis, and the traffic loader tasks such as the SOFI load and module ALA was running through properly. So now let's suppose that we would like to copy out the most severe load case and its position on our structure to be able to visualize it and also to maybe further processing it. You can do it with the help of a text input. So all you need to do is insert a new text task by right click on the traffic loader one and then choose insert a task option and from the insert new task dialog box you simply need to choose the very first one the text editor and click on the OK button. I'm going to rename this task right click on it and choose the rename option and add a new name load copy for further processing and then hit the enter button. Then you need to double click on this text task in order to enter the input. We are going to use module SOFI load to copy a certain load case and the position of the loads on our structure from module ELLA. So all we need to do is click in this text field and start to type PROG and then space and then the head and the end of this module automatically appeared. Then I need to continue with the name of the module which is SOFI load. And finally to create some lines between the head and the end commands to be able to enter further commands such as the copy command for example. 
After having entered the copy command and then hit the F1 button on your keyboard, the online PDF help will be open for you. You will see and find all the parameters that are available to be added for command copy. Let's go through the structure of these parameters. At the first position we can see NO, item NO, so basically the number of the load gates to be copied needs to be added. Then if you want you can apply a factor if it's different from 1.0. Then you need to refer to the type of the loads you would like to copy from a certain load case. It could be all the found load in the load case or all the free point loading if you enter type point or all the free line loading if you enter type line or all the free area loading if you enter type area and so on and so forth. And when you enter the parameter type ELLA, all the loads stored in the load case after having run module ELLA could be copied for further usage. The parameters from to increment doesn't play any role in this case. However, what is very important to define is the parameter REF, which stands for the reference number of an axis or the lane. And it is also essential to define uh, parameter case, which will be the evaluation case from module ELLA. If you remember from your previous experience, in the traffic loader task you need to define cases to be evaluated. For example, a case in which you want to evaluate the internal forces caused by the tandem system loads of the load train. The parameter NRE is for the identification of an element in the system whose influence line and the corresponding most severe load position should be read out. OK, now let's have a look at the traffic loader task and read out one of the case from which we would like to copy the load position. If you double click on the traffic loader task, its dialog box will open and then we need to have a look at the load groups tab where we can read out one of the cases, for example case 1, whose base load case number is 100 and the load is positioned in lane number 1. So these are three very important information that we need to remember when we enter our text input. Case 1, lane number 1 and load case number will be 109. And why is 9? I will explain when we click on the calculation tab. And here we can see that the minimum MY bending moment of the beam elements will be created in load case 109 and the maximum one in load case 110. I will use load case 109 to demonstrate the load copy option. OK, now I think we can close back this dialog box by simply clicking on the cancel button. And by going back into our text input, what we need to refer is the copy command. The number of the load case will be 109. The factor with which we would like to copy out the loads is 1.0 and that's why I entered a minus sign. It means I'm going to use the default 1.0 value. Then I also need to specify the type which will be ELLA in this case. Then I need to specify a reference which will be the first lane of the axis. Therefore I'm going to input ref axis point 0.1 and finally, I need to select or choose a beam element whose influence line and the corresponding load position I would like to copy. So I'm going to open up the system visualization, closing back the online hub, and I will try to select the beam roughly in the middle of the first span, which is going to be, for example, this 200,010. I will try to remember this number when I'm going back to my text input and continue with the number of the case, which will be 1, and the number of the element will be 200,010. Now we are almost done with our input. We have created the copy command, but what we need to do is copy these loads into a new load case. So now we just need to specify a lo new load case number into which we want to copy 
the loads of load case 109. I will just simply enter the command LC which stands for a load case creation and now I just need to uh, specify a number for the newly created load case and the type. So the number could be for example 999 and the type should be equal with none in this case. The load case type none means that this newly created load case will be not involved in any automatically generated superpositioning. Okay, now we are finished with our input and if the Ella was run uh, with the proper output then the load copy function is going to work properly in this case. However, I would like to point out that it's very very important to run the traffic loader beforehand with the very important option that stores the load position of the load trains in the load cases. Let's see if this is the case if we simply run this newly created text task by right click on it and choose the calculate load copy for further processing option from the drop down list. If we are not going to receive any warning or error messages then the control option in the traffic loader was set properly. Let's see. Since we haven't received any warning or error messages we can assume that the load copy was successful. Let's double check it by opening the graphics. I will simply click on the graphic button and the win graph will be opened or the new name of it graphics. Let's head over to the loads and choose the used loads. There I will double click on the all loads and choose the load case 999 for representation and click OK. Now I will select the XZ plane to review my structure in the elevation view of a global X and Z coordinate system and on a new layer I'm going to also represent the number of the beam elements. So I will just simply click on this uh, new layer icon and I will go to the system values beam element and choose the number of element. Also I'm going to rotate the number of the beam elements to have a better visualization and make them a little bit bigger. So as you can see our chosen beam element is in the first pen, roughly in the middle of the first pen, 200,010 and we had selected the minimum MY influence line of this beam element for the representation and also for the load copy. If we try to imagine the shape of the influence line diagram of beam 200,010 it would look something like this. You have a higher ordinate here a positive value and then it goes back to zero at the middle support and then it's going to have some negative values and then it goes back to zero. So in order to get the minimum MY bending moment in the element 200,010 really the load position should be somewhere here when we can find the highest negative ordinates of the influence line diagram. Going back to SSD, I would like to show you the echo option for the traffic loader task from which some of them are crucial to be able to perform the load copy. So I will right click on the traffic loader task and choose the text editor from the drop down list and I will have a look at the echo options of module Ella. With this command the load positions will be stored in the database after the live load analysis of the model. Okay, with this information I think we can conclude this video and I hope I can torch you next time with another topic. Bye!